Welcome to Aging Gracefully on Suncoast FYI. I'm your host, Nancy O'Neill. Each week I speak with local professionals on a wide range of topics from fitness to finances and from dance to dentistry. We are here to give you tips and advice on how you can live a happy and healthier life no matter what age you may be. Changes are coming to Bath and Racket Fitness Club. Sean Dressler joins us today to tell us what these changes mean to its members and anyone interested in joining the club. Nice to see you today. Thanks for having me. Yes, enjoyed meeting your um, colleagues uh -huh. in the last couple of segments. So you're here to tell us about the property changes. Give right. us a, a summary of what's going to take place because you've got some big plans going on there. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, a lot of things going on. Um, it, it's a big property. Uh, it's about 13 acres, and uh, I, I guess we've already heard in, in previous segments about the club. Full renovation coming to the club, so we're going to have brand new, uh, brand new gym, brand new restaurant, brand new pool area, wow. um, state of the art, world class facility, um, and that's just the club itself. Around the club, we're going to be bringing in uh, basically a new community. Um, so, so up to 207 new residential units. Really? That, that's going to be uh, in wow. the form of a brand new apartment building in the front where mm -hmm. the current parking lot is. Mm -hmm. And then around the south and along the east side, that would be new uh, condo buildings. So, wow. Yeah, really exciting. Wow. And everybody has to be a member of the club. <laughs> just, uh, well, that's a great question. Just, just kidding. That's, that's, just a, kidding. that's a great question. Yeah. Probably not, okay. but uh, we, we hope they'll want to join. Okay, of course, of course. Why would they want to move there if they weren't going to be you know, involved in health and right. tennis? Everybody loves tennis. So well, for your current members, what kind of effect is that going to have on them, Sean? Sure, yeah, and, and w w what we hope is all positive effects. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a great uh, community at the Bath and Racket Club today um, as we learned in a previous segment, it's 49 years old, coming up on 50 years. And uh, what we want to do is provide a facility and a community that is solidified for the next 50 years. I love it. I love it. It's a great concept. So what's going to happen with the existing club and tennis courts? I mean, is there going to be some of them will be, are they all going to go away at once? Are you going to do it in stages so that there's some courts that are available? How's that going to work? Sure. Yeah. Phasing is critical uh, in any type of a, a project this big. Um, and the team, the ownership team, the development team, the design team, uh, we're all dedicated to making sure that the club stays open, that the courts stay open. Um, the, the project, once it's all said and done, We'll have all of the new residential units. We'll have a brand new renovated club, and we'll we'll, we'll still have 18 to 10, 18 to 20 tennis courts um, that are renovated and uh -huh. and, and uh, high quality for okay. the for the members there. Okay. Now, have you have you broken ground yet, or when is that? Gonna, Not quite. Not quite. Okay. No, we're go so we're going through a public process right now. Uh -huh. uh, we're cleaning up the zoning, and then we'll go through the permitting process, and we hope to be breaking ground uh, next year. Okay, and do you have a ballpark of once you start? Mm -hmm. Is it a one-year plan, a two-year plan, for, or is you going to do it in phases? Sure, it, it'll definitely be done in phases. Um, we don't really have all of the details ironed out on the phasing, but it'll certainly be a multi-year, multi-phase plan. Okay, what are you most excited about? Really just the history. Um, when I started getting involved in this project, my, my first task was to really understand the Bath and Racket Club and the history of the club. And it, it's extremely rich, mm -hmm. uh, amazing community. And I think what I'm most excited about is taking that history and bringing it into the future and really uh, creating a facility that allows that to continue for the next 50 years and be an even more vital part of not just the immediate community, but the in, entire Sarasota community. Yeah, and it will make a huge impact on the community. Now, wh how long have you been with the, uh, the club? So we've been working uh, on this process for a little over three years now, uh, going back to very early planning, really starting to set the stage of the process that we would go through. And uh, from the beginning, the focus from the very beginning has been 
how can we craft a community around this club that makes the club better? And, and that's really the, the core tenant that we've stuck with throughout the whole process. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers before we close today? Got just just really left. excited yeah. to, to, to see these renovations happen and looking forward to uh, continuing to be a part of the community. Great. Now, are you a tennis player? A little bit. I yeah. wouldn't call myself a, a tennis player, but I enjoy trying to play at tennis. Okay. And, and, and how about personal training? Do you, uh, do you ever get into that with, uh, with these guys? He, he's it's been, it's been a while, as the camera can probably see, no. but um, uh, might, might be interested in it you know, once we have this, the world-class facility all ironed out. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, I, I can't wait to see it. It sounds like just an amazing, amazing project. And please tell our viewers again once, uh, once more where you're located. Sure. So the Bath and Racket Club is right behind Trader Joe's on US 41. Okay. For the last 49 years and 50 years, you're going to have a party? Someone, uh, someone whispered in my ear? Yeah, I think so. I, uh, details to come. Okay. Great. Well, thanks. Thanks for being here, Sean. Thank you. Dr. Jenny Wilkins with Age Vital Pharmacy is back, and she shares more tips with us after the break.